A team of German students hoping to become the first people to drive a solar-powered car around the world have finished stage one in Sydney. There are still four continents and 30,000 kilometres to go before they claim the record. Here's environment reporter Connor Duffy. It's the only car of its kind in the Sydney morning rush hour and it would be the envy of fuel-conscious motorists everywhere. We use only 700 watts for driving with 500 kilometres, so uh, when you use a hairdryer or stuff like this, it uses normally around 1,000 watts. Fresh from competing in the World Solar Challenge race from Darwin to Adelaide, this German team kept driving. They finished their Australian tour in the shadow of the country's most emblematic architecture. The aim is to to show what is possible today with this technology, with solar technology and electrical vehicles. And we want to show this is an option for the future. It won't end here. After a brief rest in Sydney, the team will drive off aiming to circumnavigate the entire world. For 22-year-old driver Felix Burmeister and 23-year-old team manager Tim Scherer, that means there's plenty of open road ahead. 34,000 kilometres. Um, in total and you need for uh, circuit navigation for Guinness record 28,500 so um, we're looking for Guinness record. Well it's the uh, first time we're doing it so it's going to be uh, in the book of records and uh, yeah so it's uh, one more thing you can uh, tell your kids after that. If all goes to plan for the German solar car team they're hoping to end their 34,000 kilometer around the world trip right back here. They're hoping that in a year's time, they won't be the only solar car on the streets of Sydney. Connor Duffy, ABC News.